people welcome back I'm so glad that you are here welcome to my Christmas house tour 2021 we have a very cozy outfit on today I have my little elf shoes on and these pants you guys I got them from Walmart they are so soft and fuzzy did you guys dump the towel really okay so let's head on downstairs you ready? So this is the front entrance. And here are the little trees. And I ordered myself a carpet cleaner. Oh my gosh. You guys, thank you very much. So yeah, we have a lot of spots to get out. So this right here is so cute. And this little Christmas tree, it is on, but you can't see the lights. See, so yeah, here it is with the lights out. I think it's so pretty. And yes, I did put a candle in here. I think it came out so cute. And we didn't go crazy. I just put a couple of these bells on here. I didn't put any garland whatsoever. And then we have our pillows. I love these pillows. You can keep them out all winter. And this does glow in the dark, and I'll show you guys. I know I've been telling you <laughs> for a couple videos, but I will show you definitely today. And we're watching a Charlie Brown Christmas. And then back here, these are the trees that I keep out all year long. They are so cute. And we have, have our laser light on. And then these are all of the huge ornament pillows and I just pulled them away from the fireplace and yes we have a fire going and I finally got one of these electric lighters you guys so cool see how that works it's so cool and I want to thank Margie my sister's friend for giving this to me she designed this I mean isn't that beautiful so so pretty and this is our DIY Dollar Tree light and these lights you guys I did get from Home Shopping Network and it is Ashley and Leo it's Juliana Rancic's brand so pretty and then here is our DIY Michaels wreath that we did and then here is the stocking holder that my sister gave me hi coco and i think these are far enough away from the flame i don't know i might put them up just a little bit higher i think it'll be okay and then here is the other stocking holder that lights up so cute and there's our mr gnome that the Barbie kept knocking over. And this light right here, I didn't light it up because it's purple, but I normally do have that on as well. Yeah, so we had to put Mr. Gnome up here because Barbie is obsessed with him. And then over here, we just do have the pearl theme, which they completely messed this presentation up, but that's okay. And then for our little coffee cup, we simply turned it around because there's words on the end and just put like a few ornaments and the cup I know Coco and then over here is the arrangement that I did and then over here these are the pillows that I actually picked up at Hobby Lobby they were 70% off I think this is so cute you guys look at this you can actually put letters in here that is just so cute 
And this pillow right here, I think I did get this at Walmart or it might have been Home Goods. I'm not sure. But you guys, this is actually a huge dog toy. Isn't that hysterical? I mean, that's a that's a toy for a pretty big dog. <laughs> And over here, I really didn't go crazy with the bar cart. Um, we basically have our fairy lights right here. You guys, these are so cool. Look at this. Probably can't see them too well. They probably look all the same. There we go. There's the red. Maybe you guys can see the yellow. Nope, they still look green, but you get the idea. Look how many different colors there are. And there's a timer, and I don't know, I just think this is just such a good buy. You guys can check out my Amazon store to see where I got it. Yes, Coco, I know, it's so exciting. And this, I, oh my gosh, you guys, I've had this for years, probably over five years, so look at this. That is just so pretty. You're supposed to put a picture here, but I never did. Look how pretty that is. And sorry about the lighting. So over here is our little tree. It's doing so well. And here is our DIY plant that we actually made for free in the backyard. Minus, of course, this. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just love, love, love this. <laughs> You're not even going to believe it. So I'm down here trying to straighten up for you guys. I knocked this entire thing over and... Let me just show you how long, how big the vase is. So it's up to here, it's huge. And there was water all over the floor, yes. And Barbie did not do it, it was me. And then here is one of the lights that I did get from Michaels, so cute. Then this is the lantern that I did get from Crate and Barrel. You can't see this too well, but here I'm gonna turn on the light. So as you can see right here, this goes back and forth. This is Luminera. This was not cheap. It was $15, but I did get it at Home Goods. I think they're originally like 30 bucks. Look at that, how pretty that is. And up here, I've had this for a long time. Love this. You could probably make this, but it's probably cheaper to buy it. And then we simply took two candy canes and made them a heart. And this right here I did find at Home Goods. It is so cute and it has a topper on it. Love that. And we simply put a Dollar Tree candle in this little cup. Go ahead and light it. I used to have floating candles all over my house. And this candle didn't really burn that well. So what you can do, if you have like a warm plate, you can simply put this on here and then get the, um, the ambiance throughout the house. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And these right here on Christmas Day, when we go to my sister's, I am actually going to use some whole clothes. You guys, these were so hard to find. I had to go to like three different stores. So yeah, that's going to be a DIY on that day. Here's our windowsill plants, so cute. These are left over from Halloween, still growing pretty good. They last for years. And again, this one's from last year. And I've had these for years, same as these. So everything's growing very well. And the amaryllis, oh my gosh, it like, <laughs> I know it doesn't look the crazy. Yeah, this is scotch tape, yeah, uh-huh. I'm really bougie. And uh, yeah, I had to literally like stake this so it doesn't fall over. And look at this, you guys, it's gonna bloom pretty soon. So exciting. And then right here, here's Mr. Tree. I got this from my friend Suzeman and where she moved to Arizona. And I don't know, I just think he's so cute. I think this is from the 80s, I love it. And this is one of the dishcloths that I have from my mom. And this is another really cute dishcloth that I'm using throughout December, probably into January. And here's our DIY. I did take a few stickers off, but I mean, it's kind of neutral. And there's our Santa. And again, this is lotion. And you guys, I got this for like a dollar at Walmart. Part of my dishes right there. 
See, my house is, is not perfect. I have a whole sink full of dishes. This is real life. Over in the powder room, I just simply have a little tea light going, and then these are for when people come over, just towels. And then I got this to actually match this right here. So this I got from Crate and Barrel. And I'm still waiting for, them, for the fresheners to put in there. Yep, still waiting. And look at that, it has a little projection. Isn't that cute? So cute. So I thought this would match like perfectly. So I'm just gonna tuck that in over there. And then we have Mr. Snowman. And then this, you guys, I kind of keep this out all year. This is just so bougie. And I did get this one from Burlington. And I think they got this from Walmart. And you can just use them year after year and just continue to refill them. And then over here, taking up the entire table, I do have another table though, is my kitchen tier. Just so cute. We just moved a few things around. I hope the kids don't knock this off. I'm probably going to take that one down. So cute. Mr. Grinch. And then here's all the little snacks. And last but not least, here's the tree. I didn't put too many ornaments on here because I basically wanted it to be like white flocked. Right here though, I made like a heart with the candy canes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that. Do you like it, Barbie? And then right down here, I put all of my little trees inside the sled. And then here, I just have my little wagon. And up here, I did get this from Home Goods. And again, I'm trying to make a candy cane tree. But again, the shortage of supplies, and you guys, these are so expensive. We're just going to continue to collect them each year. And then one of these days, we'll have a Candyland, Candyland tree. So yeah, I think it came out so pretty. And it hasn't been knocked down again. So, <laughs> so thank you guys for not knocking it down. I would like to wish everyone a very, very Merry Christmas from my family to yours, and I will see you really soon. XF.